the structure of the horse's ear is one of the reasons why horses have much more sensitive hearing than we do. There are funnel shaped ears to pick up on small sounds that we never would do. This is because he has 10 muscles that enable him to move his ears uh, backwards and forwards almost 180 degrees. The theory is that when a horse turns its ear, it's changing the air pressure inside its ear and compressing sound to make it louder. The ear is concentrating sound. And if you think of something similar to that would be the old fashioned ear trumpet, which was like a cone bringing sound in. And this is partly because horses rely on their hearing for survival. Um, horses are prey animals and if they are out in an environment where they, uh, th their vision is limited, for example by trees, um, if they're not able to use smell because the wind is taking uh, the smell away from them rather than towards them, then their primary sense that they're going to use uh, to detect a threat is going to be their hearing. Dr. Marlin cautions us to remember, we do not know how horses actually perceive sound. But we do have some evidence from research that if we play fairly quiet sounds, we can get significant increases in heart rate and changes in behavior. The interesting thing about horses hearing is that they cannot hear the, the bass sounds, the really low frequency sounds that we can hear, but they can hear much higher frequencies. So humans can hear between 20 hertz and 20,000 hertz. Anything above that, so anything higher than that is ultrasound, and anything below 20 hertz is infrasound. And we know that horses can hear within the ultrasound range. Wildlife biologist Julia Urson went to Woodland Stallion Station in Davis, California to see what ultrasonic sounds might be in a horse's environment. This is a software called Sonobat, and I'm using the Sonobat live mode right now with an ultrasonic microphone. So here on the y-axis is the frequency and right about 25,000, and um, all this was produced by the gate red stuff, so up into 75,000. And if you ever wondered why so many horses are afraid of clippers. Oh yeah, wow. The microphone is detecting the clipper sound in three different ultrasonic levels here. As the sun set, Julia and Anne went looking for more very common ultrasonic sounds, sounds most horses would be exposed to. We are detecting ambient ultrasonic noise, probably insects, birds, all sorts of things. Oh, that's a bat. So this is the Mexican free tail reference call. So the horses can hear it, but we can't because this is up in the 20 to 30 kilohertz. When we say a horse spooks, we're saying we don't understand why the horse has reacted like that. And it could be because the horse has heard something that we can't hear. And there's actually quite a lot. It's quite surprising. It's almost looking into another world. There's just a lot more sound occurring in the world that we just can't hear. And these are sounds that the horse will be hearing that we have no idea that those sounds are there. I often think that the, the worst sounds for me are sounds when they can't identify them. If they don't know what they are or where they've come from, that's more of a problem than than what the sound is in my experience. So some horses are more reactive to noise than others. I've got one horse that's really sensitive to noise. She, if she can't see something but hears a noise, she really gets tense and she will really hold her breath and become very introverted. Yeah, her brother couldn't give her monkeys. And I think that's, that's just like people, you know, we can be very different. And of course that's normal variation. Some horses are more reactive to physical cues, some are more food motivated. We always have individual variation. But sometimes I see horses which are too reactive to noise. And these horses are often not calm and relaxed in other aspects of their lives. We're often what we call hypervigilant. So the horse is often looking for potential threats all the time. 
Um, they've got this low grade stress response all the time, which means they're more likely to jump and startle from noise. So in those cases, I would try and work out what is causing the horse stress? You know, does it have its basic ethological needs met? Friends, forage and freedom. Are there problems in the horse-human interaction? And is there any evidence of pain in this horse? And often if we resolve any of those areas, you find that the horse is suddenly not as reactive to noise as it was previously.